Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So today's video is going to be on this old watch I have. I got this watch back in 94 or 95, somewhere around there. And it has a story behind it. And I've kept it through all these years. And uh, it's been sitting in the drawer with a dead battery. And I just haven't messed with it. And I I can't remember the last time I put a battery in this watch. I don't remember. Uh, but I bought that uh, watch repair kit. And I'm bringing some watches back to life. So anyway, I got this watch back in 94. Does that make this a vintage watch? Does 20 years make it a vintage watch? I don't know. It's a Citizen. And the only thing I can figure out what model it is it says elegance right underneath it i don't know if you can make it out uh going to focus no it's a chronograph and it still works let me show you and there you go i didn't bother to set the date today is the 34 1st of December. Happy New Year's, by the way. Tonight, hope all your plans go well for the new year of 2024. So I just put the battery in it, and the battery that it had in it is no longer made. And I went to a battery shop here uh, nearby, and, uh, and they gave me, and they cross-referenced it to another number and so I was able to put the watch back in order it has gold and silver color it's a stainless steel watch and it's a hundred meters of water resistant it's a Japanese movement it's called quartz of course the dial here does not move I don't know what what style this is is this a aviation watch or uh, some other type of watch it seems to be made very well has a lot of scratches on it from over the years when I used to wear it a lot back in the 90s early 2000s I used to wear it quite a bit Silver and gold, which is it's a good combination. You can wear it with a lot of different things be, because of that. Now, the watch is physically small. I'm, I'm not sure what the dimensions are as far as the case. But here is a Invicta dive watch next to it. And I think the dive watch, what is it, 38 or 42 millim millimeters? So it's it's significantly smaller than that. And the glass doesn't look to be scratched or anything that I can tell. Just the stainless steel. It's held up very well and it was just thrown around in my in a drawer and uh not protected either. It was with it's been without a case for over 20 years. I don't I can't remember whatever happened to the case. But let me tell you a story on how I got this watch. So back in 94, I had a girlfriend. And we were living together and we had an apartment. And I don't know if I got it for Christmas or I got it for my birthday or whatever, but she bought it for me. And for her, it was pretty expensive. I don't know what they cost back then. A watch like this now is what, two hundred to three hundred dollars. I'm I'm guessing. I don't know. I have no idea what a watch like this costs now in today's market. But um, she bought it, and I remember going with her. To the mall, there was a jewelry store. I think it was K Jewelry or something like that. And she would make her payments. 
to the jewelry store on this watch. It's relatively thin, has a lot of scratches, a lot of history, and it's been with me through my marriage. It's been with me through my military career. I would wear it off and on. I think I changed, I know I had the battery changed at least once or twice, twice probably. But if I remember correctly, it didn't last long, like like six months, and I had to change the battery out again. So, but it's it's been so long that I've had it running that that I thought I would just uh, bring it back to life. Let me put it on my wrist so you can see how it looks on my wrist. Okay, there it is. Still looks pretty good. So tell me in the comments, is is this a vintage watch? Is, is this considered vintage? It's 30 years old. You tell me. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.